Hi guys, Drew here once again for Z Code System, and I hope you are enjoying all of our blogs and videos featuring sports betting tips that we post weekly. Now this week, I want to talk to you about something a little bit different. I want to talk to you about bookies. More precisely, I want to talk to you about how bookies cheat. Yes, that's right, bookies cheat, and we all know it. But not everyone knows just how they do it and some of the tactics that they use. So let's talk about it. How do bookies cheat? Let me first talk to you about juice. You may be wondering, what is juice? Well, it is a betting term. You may you may be more familiar with the term vig, which is the same thing. They're just interchangeable. Well, the juice is the commission a sports book takes from you placing a bet. The percentage a sports book takes can change. But often it's around 10%. But again, different sports books take a different commission. Let me give you an example of how juice works. Let's say you place $100 on the Pittsburgh Steelers to beat the Denver Broncos. I mean, come on, the Broncos are terrible. The Steelers are the Steelers. Unfortunately for you, the Broncos win, and you must pay up. Now that was $100 that you placed on the Steelers, so you have to pay up $100 to your bookie. But you must also take into account the 10% juice, so you're actually going to have to add another $10 to your original 100. So in the end, you pay your bookie $110. So the bookie makes $10 off of your bet in commission. What a deal! Now think about all of the juice that sports books make throughout a day. That adds up to thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars. But it doesn't just end there. So let's talk about winning against the sports bookies. A lot of sports bettors think every time they win, they're actually beating the bookies. But that's not the case. Sports bettors are actually playing against one another. They're playing against other sports bettors just like you. Think of it like this: the bookie is the middleman who connects two people that want to place a bet on a sporting event. He's the third party who connects two people. Simple, right? So you bet on the Steelers while another sports better bets on the Broncos. You both wager one hundred dollars for your team to win, but again, unfortunately, you lose, as in the previous as in the previous scenario. You pay the bookie one hundred and ten dollars. Now again, that's one hundred dollars you wagered and the ten dollar juice. The bookie then turns around and gives that one hundred dollars to the other winning better. So now he is simply taking your losing money. And given it to the winning person, so nobody has actually beaten the bookie. You've actually beaten the other sports better, if you will. And on top of that, the sports book makes their commission. What a fantastic, what a fantastic thing for them to do. Now let's look at one more thing, and that is the way that bookies cheat with game odds. Now, when a game line is posted, one team is the favorite while the other is the underdog. Simple, right? Happens every day. Now, bookies change these odds based on the bets they receive on the teams. So, again, let's use the Steelers and the Broncos as our example. If the Steelers are the favorite and a large number of sports bettors wager on them, sports books will decrease the odds. The odds will go down. Simple, right? Now, odds are not necessarily determined on whether a team is that likely to win as the game goes forward. It's actually configured on the amount of bets that the bookies are taking in. So. If the odds are going down for the Steelers, it's because there are a lot of people betting on the Steelers. Now, sportsbooks don't want this. They want there to be a little bit more even betting, so they will make the Broncos' odds a little bit more attractive, which could sway more people to bet on the Broncos. Now, this gets things a little bit more even in betting, so they can cover their bets. So the losers of one side can pay the winnings of the other side, just like in our. Earlier examples. Now, how do they make these odds more attractive? Well, of course, they can change the odds. They can manipulate the odds to make them more attractive, and they can also post and, and release information on trends that make the Broncos more attractive. So, for example, they may give you some game information about the the Broncos' past history playing against the Steelers, or maybe how the Broncos play so well at home, or how they play so well on the road. Now. These trends and these stats may have no relevance to the game or how the team is actually playing, but when you put a little bit of that information out there for the public, sports betters can be swayed 
and, in the end, bet on the Broncos. Now, these are just a few of the ways bookies cheat, but there are ways to beat the bookies. And one of the best ways is to have a proven system that will help you win money consistently. And Z-Code system is that consistent winning system that will help you make profits and to watch your bank account grow. Now, you can sign up today to Z-Code system and get access to all the top betting systems at the website and begin winning cash money now. You can bet on all the top sports whether it be football, baseball, basketball, ice hockey, soccer, whatever it is that you like, you can bet on that and get information through Z-Code system and use these proven systems that get you winnings every game.